Hey, what's up guys? It's Lewis Beasley from lewisbeasley.com, youtube.com backslash stream Lewis, and whatever .com channels and sites you can find me on. Now in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the GoPro 4 Black Edition. That's right, this is the GoPro Hero 4 Camera Black Edition from GoPro. Now I won't be doing a full review because there are already a ton of reviews on this particular camera. So you know I'm just going to recommend that you guys actually go to YouTube and, and check out some of the full reviews on this camera. Additionally, I have to admit that I'm just now jumping on the GoPro boat. You know, as someone who loves creating music and video content, I just never really saw a use for this camera. But you know, fast forward into today and I realize that I've been missing out on some really unique possibilities. I mean, think about it. A camera this small in size with professional quality video can really, really serve its purpose in some unique places. So I have some projects in mind and having a couple of these cameras in my camera bag is gonna be a huge benefit. And I'll be showing you guys that, alrighty? So let's talk about this GoPro Black Edition. This is the 4K uh, edition. Uh, some of the specs is it's 4K footage at 30 frames per second. Uh, you can also record at 2K, 1080, and 720. Now while I get this camera unboxed, I'm just gonna talk about some of the primary reasons why I chose this model. The first and foremost reason is that the overall video footage comes out a bit sharper versus the standard GoPro 4. You know, I've done my research and it does look like that the Black Edition does put out a little bit more sharper quality versus the standard uh, GoPro 4 Silver. So I chose to go with the Black Edition. I'm a quality man, I like quality, so I'm rolling with quality. Now also on this Black Edition, you can shoot at 4K at 30 frames per second versus 4K at 15 frames per second on the standard GoPro 4 Silver. And also the Black Edition allows 1080p footage to be recorded at 120 frames per second versus 60 frames per second on the standard GoPro 4. That can be a big benefit if you're into slow motion shots. Now, I don't like being limited when it comes to my creativity, so I usually opt into the more expensive models when it comes to technology. And there was no shortcut here. On this one, I went for the Black Edition. Okay, so first and foremost, let me figure out how to get this camera off here. And we're gonna set the camera off to the side and take a look to see what's inside of the box. So inside of the box, it looks like we have a starter guide here. And this basically shows you how to get started with the GoPro 4, I assume. We're just gonna put that off to the side and move on to some more interesting things. Looks like we got some more paperwork, uh, some more product information, paper thingies that I really don't care about. We're gonna set this off to the side. And these look like some GoPro stickers. So if you definitely wanna get a couple, couple up points with your girlfriend or your wife, give her these stickers. <laughs> She'll be super happy. We're gonna set these off to the side and see what else we got in this box. Alrighty, looks like some more product info paper thingies. We're gonna to toss that to the side as well. And let's see what we got down here deeper. This looks like the three-way pivot arm, which allows you to pivot the camera angle while connected to the rest of the arm. So we're gonna set that out to the side and see what else we got here. This is the actual USB charging cable. This is what you will use to transfer data to and from the camera and also charge your GoPro unit. We also have one of the quick release buckles that makes up part of the arm. And this looks like the skeleton back door. So th this back door, I think this actually connects to the standard housing and it gives you an open face access to the back area of the camera. Looks like they supplied us with two curved adhesive mounts for actually mounting the camera on the surface. And this looks like the actual battery that goes inside of the, uh, the GoPro Black here. So looking at the camera, it comes installed inside of the standard housing. I do believe this housing is waterproof, so if you need to charge the camera or change the SD card or even the battery, you'll have to remove it from the housing first. There are no openings on this housing. So I think to actually remove this, you have to uh, simply apply a bit of pressure to the latch and it should open up. And there you have it, the GoPro 4 Hero Black Edition. Now I must say this thing is very tiny. 
It's technology like this that seems to amaze me. I mean, you have this extremely super wide lens, uh, 4K capabilities with Wi-Fi functionality packed into this tiny little box that's no bigger than a credit card. So to me, that's pretty amazing. Okay, so on the front of the camera, you have your mode button that also serves as your power button for powering the unit on and off. You have your LCD screen as well as your recording indicator light strips on the side. And at the bottom, you have your battery compartment for your battery. Now on the side here, you have a button here with an engraved image of a wrench. I'm not really sure what this does as of yet, but we'll give it figured out. On the back, you have your GoPro logo and some informational text. Now there's an expansion slot here on the side that allows you to add various accessories like the touchscreen attachment if you choose to purchase that. At the top, you have what appears to be your action button for recording and snapping images. You also have what appears to be a microphone and an indicator light. And then on the other side here, you have your HDMI out port, your USB charging port, and your micro SD card slot. And that's pretty much it on the GoPro 4 Black Edition. As I mentioned earlier, I have a lot of ideas and projects I plan on using this camera in. Also, let me remind you that this is only an unboxing. Let me play around with this camera for a little bit, and then I'll put together something really interesting for you guys, all right? Again, there are tons of reviews on this camera, and for that reason, I will more than likely not do a full review, but if you guys want me to, then I will, but you gotta let me know, all right? If you already own a GoPro camera, then let me know how you like it and share some of your interesting footages down with me in the comments section. Also, if you have something specific you want me to accomplish with this camera, go down to the comments section and leave me a comment. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and I will catch you guys in the next one, all right? Sound you later.